You'll never put that creep back together. I mixed him in with two chairs and a toboggan. <laughs> You're next. I'm kicking your ass through that thing. <laughs> you wouldn't hit an unconscious man. Briefcase. What the hell are you doing? Give it. Pocket sand. Gribble. Got him. Good. Make him disappear. You want me to kill him? What? No. Although, no, just drive him around. But I'm happy you're being proactive. There are no bad ideas. No one's gonna catch the big D off guard. The real problem will be obtaining fresh meat. A breeding pair of gerbils. Um, Dale, honey. One of those is a hamster. Laugh now, lady. After a month of eating cockroaches, you will be begging for gerbster. Oh, yeah, when I first found red corn, he was in some go-nowhere white snake meets white lion meets great white rip-off group. But I recreated him as the Native American Raffi. I've got it. A pancake sale where we get our wives to serve pancakes topless. Not yours, Hank. Hooray for Smitty. Or should I say, the Wizard of Sod? You know what they say Ford stands for, don't you? It stands for Fix It Again, Tony. <laughs> You're thinking of a Fiat, Dale. Fix it again. I had no choice. I tried planting the ants in your driveway, but they didn't take. They couldn't bite through cement. They're weak, like me. Quick, Nancy, plan 51 Tango. What are you talking about, Shug? 51 Tango. In the event of a hostile takeover of the gun club resulting in a Dell-threatening situation, I flee to Costa Rica. Why do we even have the drills if you aren't going to pay attention? Bill, you have to be the stupidest man on the planet to think this is a good idea. Have you seen what you're wearing? That outfit makes you look like a sequin train wreck. Look at you! You're part of a 12-headed jackass! This course is the feces that is produced when shame eats too much stupidity! You people make me envy the deaf and the blind! Underwear! Money! Fat! Ah! Squirrel tactic! Ah. <laughs> You're a grand old flag, you're a something something flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem blah, the one blah blah. You don't even want to know what the bark beetle has to say about me. And everyone knows what George Washington Carver did with peanuts, but nobody knows what he did to peanuts. He weaponized them. Bunny was not like other AK-47s. Bunny was an AK that cared. My son is playing with dolls. There, I said it. He's a sissy. There, I said that. Hello. Help! <laughs> Can I help you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not uh, do. Yeah. How could you do this to me, Puff Puff? Ah! My cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's mine. So, uh, that's it, huh? Just the silverfish. You don't have anything for me to exterminate that's got a little more fight to it? Don't think so. Come on! Mountain lion? Bear? Old Rottweiler you don't need anymore? Sorry. What about that old bag of a wife of yours? <gasps> yes, I would like to purchase some chloroform, a roll of duct tape, and this gagging bandana. If I had a PhD, I'd stop being a sports announcer and start calling chess games and such. Don't be afraid of the groin, boys. 
I say let the world warm up. See what Boutros Boutros golly golly thinks about that. We'll grow oranges in Alaska. 11.16, Octavio speaks into tape recorder. Thus leaving crucial evidence, stupid idiot. Octavio must be gotten rid of. Dear Octavio, this is the hardest letter I've ever had to write. Good going, Dale. That looks like some top quality sand you got there. Yeah, they won't be building any sand castles over at Staubach Elementary this week. Spanking was wrong then, and it's wrong now. I'd say spare the rod and spoil the child. Dale, spare the rod and spoil the child means you're in favor of spanking. I don't think so. My son is dreaming about getting spanked by your wife. Well, that's not so unusual. It was Bill. No, it wasn't. All right, it was me. I took it. Somebody had to stop you. You're crazy. Dale, I suppose. D I'm picked last, but does your precious Connie own custom kickball shoes? And R.J. Dobbs loses. <laughs> and? It it's me! Wow! Don Quixote's authentic Spanish cuisine and karaoke went out of business, and guess what I bought from them? A suit of armor! So they administer the test, and they sell the books. Sounds like she is getting ripped off by they, um... Perimeter breach. Perimeter breach? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch Dale Grib. I, for one, am relieved that Joseph has been labeled special needs. Because that means it's not my fault. Ah, uh, yep, not my fault. Excuse me, we have just received an exclusive photo of the near disaster. Let's go right to it. Let me take this opportunity to introduce the band on keyboards, the big D himself, Rusty Shackelford. Joseph, I understand you smoked your first cigarette today. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll never smoke again. Whoa, hold on, son. I want you to keep an open mind so you can make an informed decision. If you want, you can read a bloated government report on smoking. Or go straight to the horse's mouth and get the facts from the tobacco industry. I would not be involved in a quinceañera, Hank. Do you know what goes on at those things? I do. They sacrifice the oldest woman in the room to make room for the new younger woman. People you are referring to are hipsters. They walk slowly because they got no place to be, man. Hank, I'll be videotaping your speech. And the sacrifice. Yeah, quitting smoking is the best thing I've ever done. Check this out. <laughs> Couple days ago, that would have killed me. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, Nancy's at it again. Now she's got some new rule about spitting on the carpet. So now I have to stuff my chewing tobacco into this paper cone and inhale the aroma. Not really working. Boom, Howard, you're a genius. What should we call this new invention? Who are you? Answers in the form of English, please. I am Gilbert Fontaine de la Tour d'Autrive, the man of the house. Dale Gribble. Welcome back, friend. I knew this day would come. Dale, get off of me. Oh. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I can finish my beer. Fork! Oh, and if some well-dressed ladies come in, you're just here to move a piano. That's silly, Hank. Everybody knows our church is owned by General Electric himself. Ta-da! 
Bill, you like pumpkin pie filling? Easy out. She's distracted by her recent divorce. Bill, if it's any consolation, I never believed in you. Bill, what did you do with last week's pizza money? I bought a hat. That's a gribble of an idea, Bill. Yeah. Falcon, bring us back a vol. Sha-sha. No. <laughs> So Bill's a vole. Count me out. The vast majority of unauthorized face removals happen to people in hospitals. <sighs> you disappoint me, Dale. Get in line. Where do I get mice? I left a plate of bacon in your attic. You should have plenty by nightfall. Hank, you don't want to use that remote? There goes the mailbox. You have an exploding mailbox? That was your mailbox. You were supposed to protect me! Oh, God! They know I know. I'm in the network. Why, why isn't my head wrapped in tin foil? Mr. Gribble, we're going to need you to calm down. Look at me. <laughs> Losing strength. Must maintain focus. Yeah. So while you were me, did you sleep with Nancy? No. Too late. You know what a friend would do? He'd get me to burn down said other friend's failing business for the insurance money. Just say the word. Or don't. I'll get the signal. Just nod your head. Or don't. Shut up, Dale. So, we're on. Sweet <laughs> He found his way home.